got them all. My name is Jasmine, I'm an illustrator. Welcome to my channel and Happy New Year! It is a very stormy day here in Los Angeles and although it's already the 4th of January, I want to go over the goals for this year and just a little mention of how my last year went. Um, I think it's important for me to make these kinds of videos because other than my vlogs, there's not much context that people can get on what I'm working on uh, very easily. So let's quickly review 2022 before we jump into what my goals are for 2023. I brought my notes so I can stay on track. For first things first, I want to thank everyone who has been watching my vlogs. Um, I've been active for about two years now and I finally hit 2000 subscribers like, like maybe two weeks ago. So thank you. It is extremely hard to grow on YouTube. I really, really appreciate people that watch my videos, follow my progress, tell me how they're doing with their projects. So thank you. My goal last year was to hit 2000. So I really barely made it to that goal, but I made it. To review 2022, the things that I actually accomplished, really wanted to accomplish last year, weren't that many things, but they were big things. I published online through Arthology Dreams, a short sci-fi comic. I vlogged the entire process of creating it, so that was a lot of fun. I'm really proud of how it came out and it's nice to feel like I did complete some type of work last year. Because as you might be familiar, I've been working on a massive medieval comic project that has required years of research and reading and writing it. The other big accomplishment last year was I actually got to write the whole thing. Um, that took years of writing outlines and preparing and studying storytelling. Um, so I have a first draft of my medieval comic. It's, it's a pretty big beast in terms of a story. There's four acts in it. Um, so upon revision this year, I do want to shorten it a little bit. That was the other big thing that I completed last year. There's nothing visual really to show for. So part of me kind of struggles with feeling like, did that? actually occurred? Did I actually achieve anything? Um, because I'm such a visual person, but yeah, that happened and I really should be more proud of that. And on top of finishing writing that project, I spent the last five months of the year developing how it would look. Now I'm coming to you now in January, I'm still a little shaky on what it should ultimately look like, um, but I'm not going to find that out until I keep creating comic pages. So. That's going to be a continual process, but at least I'm at the stage where I'm making comic pages and that is amazing. We're almost done with that. So good riddance. And the last thing really to mention that I was able to do last year was work on my fantasy romance novella series. Through NaNoWriMo's, I've written four out of the seven or eight novellas, which pretty much means I'm halfway done with the first draft of this series. So just to summarize what the heck I did last year, short sci-fi comic, I wrote my medieval comic script, I developed the look of it, and I wrote half of my fantasy romance series. So that's pretty much it. All those things are big, big projects. Apart from, apart from the short comic, those were big things to grapple with last year and I vlogged the entire process of working on all of those so you can definitely check out my backlog of vlogs if you're interested in seeing me flounder and cry and just overall have a dandy time. Now that we got 2022 behind us, what's in store? What's ahead? What am I going to be focusing on in this new year? The big focus is going to be that medieval comic. So I just finished drawing the first chapter, so that's complete. The question is, what do I do with that? I have been trying to decide whether I want to pitch this to publishing companies or go the self-publishing route. Um, there are so many factors to consider, pros and cons on both sides, you guys. I was gung-ho about pitching, but 
seeing how I'm not 100% confident in the artwork and how the comic looks like, I don't think I'm quite ready to pitch this to a publishing company with full confidence that I, I'm happy with the product. So what I'm going to do this year, continue to draw more pages and get to three whole chapters in the story. Once I get to three chapters, I'll have a pretty good idea of what this comic really looks like because the beginning of any comic it's gonna look a little wonky because you're still figuring things out but by the third chapter which would be 30 pages basically i'll be able to discern whether i should just go the kickstarter route and self-publish this i am leaning towards that more because it sounds just more fun i love marketing i love designing books um, i have experience with zine fests uh, the only portion that I am absolutely terrified is just putting myself out there for the world to not see because I struggle online with visibility like as I don't have many YouTube viewers even though I've been active for about three or two years um, my Instagram's still pretty low I like I enjoy marketing I just don't think I'm doing it right so I am pretty terrified of going the deep end in a kickstarter world and see that literally no one is watching and i will not make the minimum pledge so that's the risk that one has to take with self-publishing and it is terrifying so i'm still gonna think about it you guys like i i'm just gonna focus on developing the first three chapters you okay papa you okay i have a patreon and i've been posting all of the pages as they're being created on there so if you'd like a more in-depth access to these actual pages and the medieval story as well as all the extra other projects that i work on i would recommend to support me on patreon it's only a dollar and you get access to my private blog basically and i do post frequently definitely check that out if that is something that might interest you so the medieval comic that's the main goal that's what i'm going to be focusing on i have two smaller goals that i would like to keep doing in the background and that is to finish my seven eight novella series um, that will require writing several thousand words every month until the end of the year i would like to get an editor once that's finished and then i would like to illustrate it it's not not as a comic but there will be small illustrations inside each novella so i don't it's a fun project i'm really excited about it and i i think it, it'll be worthy worthwhile enough for people to read so that's a second project that i would like to do and luckily it's mostly writing so it's not like super labor intensive like this medieval project back here i have all year to work on that so that's not a super intense goal the second smaller goal is going to be to get back onto my sci-fi webcomic space warriors i have part two written out and thumbnailed in the old format that I used to draw that webcomic as, I'm switching to a more traditional vertical comic page format. So all I really need to do is to convert those horizontal panels in my thumbnails into a vertical page and then draw them. So every month I'm going to give myself uh, a number of pages that I need to thumbnail and to draw. And that's going to be another fun and less intense project for me to work on every month. So that is it. Just three three projects one taking up most of my focus and the other two purely for fun as for space warriors once i do have part two drawn i will be posting it online and continuing that story so it's a little fuzz i have a whole playlist featuring working on space warriors you can check those out as well and that's it you guys just three projects making it simple making it not easy because that medieval project it's uh, pretty intense <sighs> if you don't mind tell me what your goals are for this year and your intentions apart from art i want to continue to keep a fairly moderate exercise routine <laughs> that is it this year definitely feels different because i'm no longer in the development void of things where i feel like there's no purpose I, that whole exploratory stuff the research the writing i'm i loved doing all that but i'm i'm ready to 
work on something much more solid and apply all that onto literally pencil and paper. So I have all of this energy and all this momentum that is like thrusting me forward into the year. So I'm really excited to just sit down every day and draw, 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 draw and get those pages out. Like it's gotten to the point where I want to be a hermit. I don't want to talk to anyone. I just want to work on my comic and that is it. So I want to use that energy into the new year and get these projects that I've been talking about for years finally be formed in much more solid terms. So I'm, I'm super excited. This is the year of more completions and I hope you stick around to witness it all. I'll keep making vlogs. I'll be continuing to post a lot on my Patreon. So we'll see how this year goes and um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!